Hi guys, it's Renee from Bra Queen. I hope you are well. Um, I wanted to speak to you today about customer service and you know the importance of knowing what values you want and you want your customers to experience because it is crucial that every employee that works for you lives and breathes that those same values because otherwise your customers aren't going to get that experience that you want them to have. You know, when we work with our businesses, you know, we guide, we educate and inform lingerie entrepreneurs to work less, earn more. We deliver vivacious, strategic, savvy business mentoring to lingerie entrepreneurs through our cutting edge courses and programs. So together, we can empower women through the self-expression of lingerie. And for me, that is the key. And that is why I love lingerie, because it is the freedom and the ultimate self-expression to empower women. So that's why I do what I do. That's why I love lingerie, because it empowers women. And it's a small thing that they can do to make themselves feel good. So it's really important that our customers, when they enter your store or, you know, whether you're online or whether you're bricks and mortar, it doesn't matter. That sense of empowerment has to be there. And for your employees, it is crucial that they do not judge your customers. For just off the top of my head, you know, if a 60-year-old woman comes in and she wants to wear something that's fun and bright and a little bit funky, then that's fine. She can wear that as long as the bra shape is right for her and the bra fit is right for her. The character and the personality of the bra has to be aligned to hers. That is what is important. And we can't decide that because, and that's why I love lingerie, is because it's different for everybody. Everyone, every, you know, sexy is different to everybody. Pretty is different to everybody. That's why it's so great is because it's unique for everybody. And it is the ultimate way that we can express ourselves because no one has to know. And what right do we have as professional bra fitters to, to stop that, to judge that, or to, to mark it and, or deem it as wrong? Um, so I'm just here to say, think about your customers and think about their customer experience. If you've got someone that's very judgmental on your floor, perhaps they're best back a house and into the operations because they're really not doing you any justice. I take women, um, I take women bra fitting sometimes and I don't do it all the time because my time is um, taken up, you know, with businesses. But um, from time to time, I just special people come along and I just feel the need. And recently, um, a lady emailed me and she dreads bra shopping, as does a lot of people, but this lady dreaded it. I had been recommended by um, by a friend and a, another business colleague, and it was important to her. Now, I could have just recommended her somewhere to go, um, but she was pretty adamant that she wanted me there to guide her through it. Now, obviously, this this lady has something that um, she needs to be walked through it. She needs to feel comfortable in that space because when we're bra fitting every single day, we take it for granted. We forget that it's actually a really personal, private experience. And a lot of women hate getting bra fitted. We cannot forget that. So it's up to us to give them that customer care that they need. So we need to think about the customer journey. What what are some things that you want your customers to feel when they enter their store, when they enter your store? Because the thing is, 
if I could have just gone in and as a matter of fact the brass bitter at the end she picked up you know the 15 bras or whatever amount we had she went oh there's a lot of bras here and I said yeah there is you know this lady hadn't been fitted in a couple of years and um and she was in the states last time these are new bras for her but she was adamant about her bra size now who am I to say you are a grown woman this is not your bra size when she's already self-conscious and not feeling very confident because we've only just met. Um, how do you think she's going to feel? We need to think about how they're feeling and why they're feeling these things. They've got a whole backstory about why they hate bra shopping. So it's up to us to take them through with ease so they're comfortable at every single point. So this lady knows her bra size. I show her her bra size. Is she that bra size? Of course she's not. We all know that 8 out of 10 women are not. But the bra fitter that was in the store at the end of it said, well, why did you try on so many cup sizes? Why didn't you just... I said, she knew her cup size. She said, but why wouldn't you just take in a bigger size anyway? I went, no. Why would I? You take them what they want and then you show them what they need. We need to listen to what they have to say and respect what they have to say. Now, I can show them their bra size and say, you know what? This is what you think you are. Let me tell you why this bra is not right for you. And we can go into the bra shape and the bra size and how it's supposed to look and how it's not supposed to look. So we take them, we show them where they are and then we take them where they want to go. And that is why we do what we do. We don't just, it's because some personalities, you could say, and I have in the past, you can say, oh, that's not your cup size because you know that they don't have any emotional attachment around their bra size. But we need, as a professional fitter, we need to know and judge that person because sometimes we need to take extra special care with our customers because that is our duty. So the whole point of this is to from, just take some time and to think about your customers, think about what you want them to experience, how you want them to feel. And what can you do to make sure that they know you care? And are you giving them the level of care that they need? Not just you, ensure that your entire team are carrying out those exact same values. Because I can tell you right now, if this lady had a, walked in off the street and this bra fitter fit her, she would have walked out a mess because this fitter is too harsh for her. She didn't pick up on the customer's needs. She didn't pick up on, you know what, sometimes you just need to be a little bit kind in your approach. Be a little bit thoughtful. Be gentle in your approach because that's the whole part. To fit a bra is, you know what, is, is easy. That's the easy part to fit a bra, but how you serve them and the level of service you give them is totally different and that is up to you. And that is what needs to stand out because that is why they're going to come back, is when they feel comfortable, when they feel like they're not getting judged. So that is what you need, and it's okay to know what you do, but make sure that you, all of your all of your employees carry out the exact same level of service. Um, it's just crucial because um, you know who are we to judge, and you know, let's just care because, as we say, what's happening online, and we don't know the future of, of retail and all this stuff, and that's all it is, is stuff. We need to not pull back on the service now more than ever. We need to give them the experience like they've never, ever had. 
um, it's just important and, you know, they're, they're trusting us. So we, we need to be respectful and mindful of that. So I hope that has given you some food for thought and um, I will see you soon. Take care. I hope you're really well and hope you're kicking ass in the fits. Take care. Ciao.